Hey, Tamika, this is Viola with Gwinnett SEO. All right, thank you so much um, for taking the time to take care of me the other day with my lashes. And, you know, thanks for chatting with me about what's possible for your business. Um, and thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm going to briefly show you three easy ways um, that you can improve your business by getting more customers and in return, getting more customers in the door. Now, we already went over exactly why I'm making the video for you, and I know we also went over the importance of hiring marketing agencies or just having someone with a marketing background in your back pocket. So I decided to go ahead and still make this video for you. Um, and of course, if at the end of it, if you still want some help, go ahead and give me a call so we could chat. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to talk to you today about three things, content, backlinks and citations so first off we already know that we have to go ahead and get a website up um however all of this great stuff that you have on your facebook page and on your instagram page this is going to make the the um process of creating your website a lot smoother because you have so much oh this woman's beautiful you have so much um information and so many great pictures and so much that you can pour into that site so i can't wait to get that started for you but i just want to show you when somebody goes on google and they type in lash extensions in stockbridge georgia this is pretty much what comes up you know and um people usually bypass the ads or whatever i'll get into that section in a minute but right now i want to talk about this organic section down here um which is called well really just the organic section and as you can see a lot of the positions up here are held by different directories such as groupon booksy etc but this little company right here managed to sneak in pink caviar spa so i pulled them up let's go ahead and take a look they are located in mcdonough georgia this is their home page okay um very blase i do want you to know this though google really doesn't care how good looking your website is google just wants to know that you have the right amount of information on there and they like to see at least 1500 to 2000 words of information on the home page um this way it lets google know that when somebody does go to google and types in lash extension stockbridge uh, they're going to put them in front of the article that's going to be able to answer most of their questions and that's usually the article that has at least 15 to 2000 words on the home page of it so even though uh, uh pink caviar looks so blase um they are ranking and they're ranking pretty high so you know that would be the company to be now let's go a little deeper i that's the importance of content i'll get more into content in a few but let's go over to the tool that i use called rs okay this just allows me to see the back end of a website and to see what's going on so i put that same company in here pink caviar lash and brow spa and what i did was i wanted to take a look at their keywords and a lot of their keywords obviously has everything to do with pink caviar but if you go lash spa studio stockbridge so what this is basically saying is that 20 people are searching for this particular keyword per month this is the volume okay 20 people search for it um this particular company gets one and a half so like every two clients they get a client um from out of that 20 per month and they are sitting in the number six spot in google and they moved up 14 spaces since then so you see how that kind of works and then this pretty much is how we would do it for every single keyword to kind of see what would be beneficial to add to um blink mink lash bar and what won't um now seeing that they didn't have too much to offer i decided to dig a little deeper and take a look at amazing lash studio because obviously they are killing the game in atlanta georgia and i went into their keywords so they have a plethora of keywords over twenty-five thousand. but to minimize it what i do is i just go ahead and filter it out and let's go ahead and put in atlanta can't type today atlanta and let's see what pops up so all of these great things pop up for example lashes atlanta 90 people search for lashes atlanta per month all right this company gets 34 out of those 90 and they're in the number one spot you see how that goes so you know it's just a matter of getting the right content onto the home page so that way you can be found accordingly now the next thing i want to talk to you about is this section right here 
All right, this section here is called the map pack. It's usually located directly underneath the map. And this has everything to do with citations. So basically a citation is anywhere across the web that has your business name, address, and phone number listed throughout different directories, such as Yellow Pages, White Pages, Yelp, um, Yext, you know, all these different brands, Groupon, all of these are different directories. So the way to win or the strategy in this area is to find out exactly what the top competitor has in regards to citations, find out exactly how many they have. So for example, if they have 20, then we go ahead and get 20 and then put another 20, 30, 40 on top of that 20. This way we know we're outranking them and we're going to constantly, constantly be in the first position month after month. Um, uh, and by the time they notice that you're in the first position, we're already so far ahead that it's going to be pretty hard for them to catch up. So that would be the strategy there. And the last thing I want to talk about are backlinks. So backlinks are pretty important. Backlink is simply site A pointing to site B with a link on it, and that links you back to site A. Does that make sense? So let me try that one more time. So a backlink means that there's a... a, a let's say your site has a link on it and if somebody clicks on that site it links them back to a different site that's a backlink and what it does is it gives that site power and it gives it uh, and it drives traffic to that site so the strategy here will be to go into the backlinks through errors take a look and see exactly what backlinks are working for uh this company and basically go ahead and put myself in those same backlinks and make sure it works for you. You know, the only thing to keep in mind is that not all backlinks are created equal. So for example, if you get a backlink from a pizza hut or a pizza store and, um, and they decide to give you a link, Google obviously knows that you don't sell pizza for a living. So obviously they're not going to get a lot of power from that. You see, all these numbers are, are basically distributing power or letting us know the amount of power. See, this is 91. That's pretty high. And that's because it has something to do with the eye and makeup. Whereas if you look at another one, this is a one. Obviously, I'm not going to go after that backlink uh, because this Renaissance Center has nothing to do with um, eyelashes. So you kind of get the idea. That's pretty much what I wanted to go over with you. So you definitely want to make sure you... Um, once you get the website, we have content that is strong, backlinks, and citations. And again, if you're beating them with content, you're beating them with citations, you're beating them with um, with the keywords, uh, then you're going to be beating them out in, in Google. All right? You look amazing right here, by the way. Anyways, thank you so much. I look forward to talking with you further about this soon. I just wanted you to get an idea of exactly what I would dive into for your company. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye, Tamika.